What's up, KOG family? It's your boy, B-Boy John 25, and tonight I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown review. And what's also you guys new, hit that like button, hit that red button, and let's get started. SmackDown was just a god-awful show. It was just god-awful. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that just my own thoughts, my opinion. But the best part about SmackDown with this opening segment, Miz TV, that's the only thing I enjoy. But let's get started. The Miz came out and said his guest was supposed to be Daniel Bryan. But due to the horrific event of last week, Daniel isn't coming out. He he will he has right or disappeared. The Miz take the Miz talk about how he knows Brian for a long for a long time and he knows him better than anyone in WWE. He said the Fiend yanked the yes movement away and Brian is nowhere to be found. The Miz um the Miz says he cares about Brian and he will go and he will go. He will get to the bottom of this. The thing, the fire, fire, fire house started on the big screen. Why, real, right, Rob, Rob Miz for trying to solve the mystery. Ryan said he doesn't. He doesn't want to know what happened to Daniel because he because he could he could be with him, and he might not been done with him yet. Ryan then said since Daniel can't play at TLC, maybe Miz will play instead. The Miz says that's not what family is all about. Rebellion Rabbit tried to tell Miz to run saying that family was the word of the day. Ryan said he used to be he used to have a family then flashes Ryan family image. Now Ryan wants a new family, and he and he held up a picture of Miz's family. So, do you want to come up? Do you want to come play with me now? The Miz stumps off and and looking for Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse ending. The Miz was on his phone after commercial, telling Maurice to lock the doors. He's coming home. He's not playing playing with the fiend. Oh, Mandy Rose is out next. Mandy Rose versus Alexa Bliss. Now, I got something to say about Alexa Bliss. She looks awful in the ring. Alexa Bliss looks awful in the ring. That's all I got to say. Jessica Carr is the referee for this match. Bliss nails a back elbow and Mandy, Ro and Mandy went outside. Bliss went for a, side, a slide out of the ring, but Rose booted her in the face. Rose then bounced Bliss' face off the apron and threw her in in, in for a two count. Um, Rose pulled off Bliss' eyelashes and hit a drop kick. Then Rose covered for a pin, but but her feet were under the under the ropes, so Carl would would pin, would count the pin. Rose keep the pressure on Bliss as she screamed, "You will never look like me." Bliss grabs her grabs her by the Throw and slam her down, and then lay in, lay in some rights, the right hands in in a baseball in a basement drop kick. Sonya tried to get involved, but Nikki crossed now her with a crossbody. Then Bliss, then Bliss put put Mandy down and went up top for a twisted twisted Bliss for the win. The winner of the match, Alexa Bliss. They made a point to show. That ripping eyelashes off Bliss face, but over again, and then show the eyelashes on the mat. Expect to see the screen, the scene to month to month sooner or later. All right, Dana Brooke, Drake, Ma you say Dana Brooke, Drake Maverick, and Lies. This segment was just garbage. It was just garbage. This segment didn't do nothing for me. It was just garbage. That Brooke was in catering. Yeah, Brooke was in catering. Then then Drake Maverick walked up and asked her about her date with Batista. Drake said he 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 feeling his feeling rejected because they had something last week. What does Dave Batista have that I don't? Then Elias walked walked in and sang a upbeat little number while Dana Dana Brooke clapped her hands. Elias says Batista is a millionaire and he's tall and Drake will have better actor with 
and it blow up dog and the uh, and the only action he's getting with a tissue that's muster masturbation joke then Elias threw a couple of lines about how he apparently bang banging Drake Maverick's wife. Drake Maverick left and he was pissed. Dana Brooke asked Elias, Is that really true about his wife? He said no. But it's going to happen. Cut to commercial. Drake Maverick is in the it's in the ring now saying <coughs> sorry about that. Drake Maverick is in the ring now saying that's everyone thinks this is funny. And everyone said it was. People think it's funny. And China, yes. He took he told Elias that nobody makes a mockery of him in his in his marriage or his wife. Then Drake told Elias to come out because he's he's looking to fight. Elias and Dana Brooke walk out together. Corey asks, What's big Dave think about this? Then again, it is twenty nineteen. You never know what anybody anybody's into anymore. Yikes. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Elijah just made a fool out of Drake at first and then avoided a punch before picking him up and just to put him over his knee and spank him like a toddler. Uh, then Elias pulls Maverick out of the ring and then and there was no referee. This wasn't a match. Thank God it wasn't a match. Because if it was, it would be God awful. But let me continue. This wasn't a match. This was just a beat down segment. Maverick ended up leaving while holding him. Bum. And then Dana Brooke threw him back for a, for a drift away. Dana went in the ring and covered Drake and covered Drake with hit covered Drake with one foot and Elias counted to three. The Miz was leaving leaving the building in a hurry. Then he then he saw a room with a red light on. He busted through the door and, and they just so happened to have the camera on the other side to catch the angle. He saw a picture of Wyatt photoshopped into a picture of the Miz family. Say cheese. Wyatt said sneaking up from behind. The Miz, the Miz sister Abigail in the dark. Wyatt saying there no place like home for the holidays and left. Um, after the commercial, the Miz was being helped, by, helped up by a referee. Shorty G and Mustafa Ali versus Luchao's party versus the revival and heavy machinery. Now I was on Twitter and I said, "All oh, snap! I think I know who's gonna win this one. The revival is gonna win this match." So the number one contenders match for a TLC title shot. Um, this match was fast paced and everyone tried to get their stuff in. Tucker was able to throw a drop kick at, as high. As Lynch Dorado and and that was impressive. Kofi gave him props on commentary. Commentary. Um, Lou Child's party got a bunch of people out of the ring and hit a double flip and then heavy machinery pinned Metallic and Lou Child's party were 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 eliminated. So you gonna have the lim so you gonna eliminate the Lou Child's party? It didn't make any sense. I don't know why it happened. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But the Lucha House probably did get eliminated. He, they were the first team that got eliminated. But let me continue. The Revival took out Otis during the commercial break. Then Dash took care of Tucker. Shorty, Shorty got the tag. And Tucker threw him across the ring. Dawson, Dawson took the tag. And he took a high back drop from Tucker. Then um, Otis got back in. And he took... A high tag. Dawson tried to stop Otis, but the but the big guy only seemed to like it more, and threw Dawson like do Dawson Rodder tag himself in, and not and and Otis knocked him out. So Otis did a the calipero on Dawson. So Rodder did the sunset sunset flip on Otis for a three count because uh because he was was legal. 
The Revival squared off against Shorty G and Ali. They fought outside in the ring, and the Revival taunted the New Day. Then, then Ali and Shorty G threw the Revival onto the New Day. They were pancakes everywhere. Shorty Shorty hits the Revival with a double knee, with a German suplex with a double German suplex, and Ali almost pinned Dash with a great double team. Pinning, pinning move. Ali went for a dive, but Dash turned it into a power slam for a two count. Ali nailed a tornado DT and climbed up top for a 450, but Dawson pulled Dash out. Uh, when Ali went for a went for a dive, but they caught him and threw him in the Timekeeper's Arena. Shorty G got the bit got the tag before Ali jumped. Then Shorty got an ankle ankle lock on Dash and Wilder. Dash and Dalton hit him with the uppercut. Dawson got the high tag and hit the sh- the shatter machine shatter machine for the win. The winners of the match, the revival. After the match, the revival cut a promo about how they going to get to go back in the basis and win at TLC. With pure tag team wrestling. This was. I enjoyed the, the revival promo. This promo was great. This, this promo was great. But one thing that got me upset. Is that WWE disrespected. W, disrespect heavy machinery. Heavy machinery deserves better. That's all I got to say. Roman Reigns cut a backstage promo. About King Corbin. He said, he said the only thing that is. Humiliating is the. Fact that King Corbin needs Ziggler and Rude. He said he's going to embarrass Corbin at TLC. Now Roman, <coughs> sorry about that. Roman Reigns promo which just got awful. Roman Reigns was not serious. You know what I'm saying? If I was Roman Reigns, I would at least get serious. That's just my opinion. I would just, I would at least just got serious. But Roman Reigns need to take notes. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. All right, moving on. Lacey Evans versus. Lacey Evans versus Haley Jones, the jobber. Now, now Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans ring Lacey Evans looks good in the ring, but her ability is not there yet. And I'm glad TM brought up a very good point by Lacey Evans. She was good in the ring, but her but her ability is not there yet. So TM wants this one shout out to you for mentioning that, and I'm glad you said. Um, um they 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 feeding Lacey Evans with enchantment talent. This this good that's a good plan to help to help rebuild women's right women's right Evans won very quickly. This match was quick. The win, the winner of the match, Lacey Evans. Sasha Sasha Banks, which she looks very good by the way. Sasha Banks looks very good with blue hair. Don't get me wrong, she looks very hot with blue hair. But anyway, let me continue. Sasha Banks comes out next and she had a microphone. Sasha Banks told Lacey Evans to leave that little country, but in in there, leave that little country, but in there because they have some have some business to take care of. Um, it says Banks came out, came to the ring and t- and, and trash talk Lacey Evans and call her trash, call her trash and mention. Mentioned her daughter. Then Evans went off on her. She reminded, she she reminded Banks that she's a Marine, and they and they taught her about fighting. And then she said to get in the ring, and Sasha Banks would would get dropped. Sasha Banks got the got in the ring, and Evans act like she was going to hit hit woman's right, and Sasha felt and screw and squeal. <coughs> Sasha fell and squealed. Evans left, and Bailey ambushed her from behind. The two beat Ep- the two beat Lacey Evans down. Lacey Evans made a nice transition to a baby face. Okay, that's that was good. That was the only thing I like. Lacey Evans was Lacey Evans looked good in the ring, but her ability, her the her ability was just not there. Her ability is not there yet. Okay, so let me move on. Roman Reigns, Roman, Roman Reigns versus Dolph Ziggler. This match was just god awful. Oh my god. This match this match was just god awful. Nobody didn't even care about this match at main event. This crowd was dead when Roman Reigns versus Dolph Ziggler. This crowd was dead. It was just dead. 
I wasn't even interested in this match. I fell asleep on. I fell asleep while Roman Reigns versus Dolph Ziggler was wrestling. I fell asleep on this one because I didn't really care about this match. Dolph Ziggler got the upper hand upper hand early on by using some heel tactics. He grouched he he grouched at Roman's eyes and launches and launches on a headlock. Then Roman then Roman nails a right hand as Dolph jumped up and hit him. With a splash, Roman went outside and Roman misses a drive-by as Dolph Ziggler dove him into the steel steps. Ziggler taught Roman Reigns telling him to do something. Then Roman took a turnbuckle off the face to the face before he went outside. Outside, Ziggler dove Roman into the barricade and rolled him into the side to roll him two sides as a as a two count. Ziggler uh, launches on a headlock and Roman started to rally and create some separation. Reigns counter a neck breaker and hits the clothesline. Then Roman clothesline Ziggler over the top rope, but only to run outside. And then he went for a Superman punch, but Ziggler caught him with a super kick. King Corbin came out with a bunch of people carrying him on his on his throne. Very majestic. King Corbin watches watch watch it. King Corbin watch on as Ziggler kick out of a Superman punch. Now a zigzag for a two count. Next Corbin distracted the referee and then Roman hit Corbin with a Superman punch off the apron. Roman hits Roman hits the spear on Ziggler. Roman hits the spear on Ziggler and one, two, three, it's over. The winner of the match Roman Reigns. Um, after this match, Ro Roman Reigns ran around and hit a drive-by on Corbin, but two of the guys who carried him on the, uh, carry him to the ring. Then a few of those guys tried to fight Roman. The big dog laid waste to everyone until Corbin jumped Reigns from behind. Someone under the someone. Someone under the ring grabbed Roman's, Roman's, Roman Reigns' leg and, and it distracted him enough for Corbin to jump him out. Um, Roman sent King Corbin over the announcer table. Roman Reigns cleared off the announcer table and then he sets up for a power bomb. But Ziggler nails a super kick on Roman Reigns. Ziggler got handcuffs from the from under under the ring and locked and locked Roman Reigns to the ring around the ring post. Roman Reigns for all for all of it. Then he son a he son had eight people on him. He they tie they tied Roman Reigns they tied Roman to the ring post and started beating him as he was tied up. This was pretty brutal and 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 crowd boo. Then they pour a can of soft dog food into Roman Reigns' mouth. Yup, dog food for the big dog. Eat up, big dog. Ziggler said they punched him again. Roman end up ended SmackDown tied up and covered in covered in dog food as the referee finally ran Ziggler and Corbin off. They were proud. They were proud of themselves. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys not let me talk to you guys how I feel about SmackDown. This show was got awful, but the show was got awful. Don't get me wrong, but Kyla Braxton, but Kayla Braxton looked very gorgeous. Sasha Banks looked very gorgeous, but I just gotta, but I gotta call it spade a spade. Um, heavy machinery deserves better. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I said they deserve better because WWE has has disrespected heavy machinery. You know what I'm saying? But I, but I am getting sick and tired of the new day throwing pancakes, man. How many times? How many times we gotta see Kofi Kingston? See the new day throwing pancakes to the WWE universe. I'm sick and tired of it. Just like how many times we see the revival versus the new day. How many times we see that? We saw this plenty of times. But my opinion is this: is that the revival versus the new day could be the match of the night at TLC. That could be the match of the night. That could be the match of the night at TLC. I ain't gonna lie. That could be the match of the night. But anyway. Heavy machinery just deserves better. They just deserve better. You know what I'm saying? People say nobody don't care about the new day. I don't even care about the new day at this point. 
But the best part about SmackDown Live was was Kayla Braxton, Sasha Banks, and Bray Wyatt and The Miz. Those were a few favorite parts of my favorite parts on SmackDown Live. But the rest of the show, the show started off hot. Don't get me wrong. This the SmackDown SmackDown started off hot. Don't get me wrong. But this, but it's just the rest of the show went downhill. That's just all I gotta say. But Alexa Bliss was Alexa Bliss wrestled. Alexa Bliss looks garbage. She is garbage. Don't get me wrong. Alexa Bliss is garbage in the ring. But Lacey Evans, she was good in the ring, but her ability, her ability is not there yet. That's all I gotta say. I know I said it earlier, but I'm saying this now. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown review and results, drop a like on this video, share the video, comment down below what you guys think of SmackDown, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Be able John 25. Talk to you guys later. And I'm out of here.